Hey guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team video. Today, I'm going to show you guys the best players you can invest in right now to make a ton of profit in the future on Ultimate Team. Now, right now, it is the last day of Team of the Year. It's a Sunday, and it's going to be a very, very good time for investing. You can invest in these cards maybe on Monday or Tuesday as well, uh, even up to Wednesday as well, because a lot of these are Team of the Week players. So don't worry if you're watching this maybe on a Monday or a Tuesday. It's going to work best, I think, for some of these cards on Sunday, and then slightly better for others in the following days after that. But... I did actually do a live stream yesterday, so on Saturday, and I, will, I was just talking about these cards basically for about an hour, uh, about the best investments. I was going through, looking up their prices on Footbin as well, finding out when the best times to buy the players were. So if you do want to see a really in-depth kind of analysis of these players and the best times to invest in them, I'll leave an annotation in the top right corner of the video, uh, and you can go and check uh, the live stream if you do want to watch that. Also, most weekends I do do live streams on the best investments to make, so be sure to turn on channel notifications down below. If you just click next to the subscribe button, you can click turn on notifications. It's going to notify you, notify you when I actually start streaming, and I would recommend checking out my streams because normally I do my investing on stream to kind of show you guys the best players to pick up, and I can really kind of analyze their prices and when the best time to buy them is and the best time to sell them. But I've kind of narrowed it down to a short list of really good players to invest in right now. I've got some special cards, I've got some gold cards, and I'll also be talking about some cards you can get on a really low budget as well. So it's going to cover most budgets. So we're going to start off with the informs. There's loads of good informs to invest in this week. We're going to start off with Vasquez. Going for 12.5k, and right now he's going for around about that price. In the future, he's going to drop down, I think. Now, right now I'm recording this on Saturday evening. When you're watching this, it's going to be a Sunday. Now, on Sunday is going to be the last day of Team of the Year, so EA are going to be releasing a lot of packs. The best time to buy these cards, in my opinion, is going to be when a lightning round comes out. So 100k, 50k, or 125k packs are the best. That's going to be between about 6 and 10pm UK time on Sunday. So I'd buy these cards when 100k or 125k packs come out. You can do it with 50k packs as well, but the bigger the packs, the more cards will be listed on the market, and the lower these prices will drop. So Vasquez is a good one since he's an 84 rated player. He's really good for scuba challenges, being an inform. He fits into that 84 rated formula, so he's really good for the guaranteed inform squad of challenges and any other squad of challenges in the future. Also, he's got a really good card, other than the pace, just boost out with a chemistry style. He's got a great card. He's got good physical, good passing, good shooting, good dribbling, and um, overall, he's a really good player and also great for hybrids being an Italian midfielder, but not in the Serie A. So, a really good player to kind of link in some other leagues from the Serie A. So, a good player to invest in right there. We then have Alejandro Gomez. He's currently around about 15k. Being an 83 rated inform, he's good for squad builder challenges. And also, he's got a really good card. When people kind of see how good that card is, once they've kind of, uh, kind of moved away from Team of the Year, all the hype around Team of the Year. Once people start looking at some of these cards, they're going to see he's actually got a great card. His price is likely to go up a bit in the future. He's a good, just no-risk investment to pick up. You're going to be getting in for near discard price. Again, pick up most of these cards during the uh, time when a lot of packs are released, uh, when there's a lightning round. It's probably the best time. But so, yeah, he's got a really good, good card. He's 83 rated, so he fits into the Scorpion Challenge formula, and he's a decent investment in my opinion. We then have Wojciech Szczesny. He's by far the best Roma keeper now in the game. And he's really good, obviously, to link to people like Manolas and Rudiger, the Roma centre-backs. So if anyone wants to use them, they're most likely going to buy this guy because his normal card's not that good and Alisson isn't that good. So he's a good keeper of that. He's also the best Polish keeper on the game and one of the best just kind of cheap inform keepers. He's got a really good card. And you're getting him for near this card price. Again, he's 83 rated, so he's going to push up in price to near like 15 or 16k the next time a guaranteed inform score of the challenge comes out. And just over time, he's going to rise up as he will be slightly rarer on the market, as he won't be a PAX anymore. So yeah, he's a good investment. You're going to be able to get him for like between 10 and 11k when a lightning rounds out, either a bid or just try and snipe them for like... If you if you put the maximum buyer now, say he's going for 11.5k, put it to like 10.5k, just try and snipe one and you often get good deals like that. And next up, we've got Puccini. 11,000 coins I paid for him. I think he's dropped down even more than now. I got him towards the beginning of this Team of the Week when he was released. And he's a great investment because he's the only good Italian right or left back who's not in the Serie A. You've got Damian, but he's a non rare No one really wants to use him. And for hybrid purposes, he's really, really good. He's also one of the best right backs now in the Liga Santander. And uh, he's got a good card. Good physical, good defending, good dribbling, decent passing, and good pace. He's tall. He's got good work rates. And just looks like a really good player. You can use him in your team in the meantime, and you're getting him for pretty much discard price. So his price is likely to rise up, maybe it's like 15 or 16,000 coins in the future, because he's a great player for hybrids, 
And um, yeah, definitely a good player to invest in, in my opinion. Uh, we have then got Lorenzo Tonelli. He's currently about 12k. Again, he's going to drop down to probably about a thou uh, maybe a thousand coins less. I'd say probably about a thousand coins left to, to about eleven thousand coins during a big lightning round, so 100k or 125k packs. Again, he's 83 rated, so fits into that Scorbutus Ellis formula. So he's got that to help boost his price up. But also, he's now the best Napoli centre back. Uh, you've got him and Koulibaly, who you, who you can now use. Also gets a hyperlink to players like Insigne, who's going to get a lot of informs on this game. And gets a hyperlink to Jorginho, the midfielder from Napoli. So a lot of good links for hybrids. And um, also, other than the, the Juventus centre-backs were Italian, he's now the best non-Juventus centre-back. So he's good for building teams with them, good for getting hybrids, good for, good for just using in teams. He's got a really good card, his normal card I've used a lot in this game, and this one here is very, very good as well. And he's just really cheap, and he's a good investment who I reckon will rise up in the future in price. We then have Ryan Shawcross. He's one of the best investments, in my opinion, because he's 84 rated in the Premier League, and it'll cost you 13,000 coins right now. Again, you're going to be able to get him for maybe like 12k during a lightning round, and he's just a great investment. 84 rated in form from the Premier League. They normally go for like 30 or 40k. I mean, Winston Reid was the cheapest beforehand. He was about 40,000 coins. And now we've got Shawcross. So much cheaper. Great investment for player of the month. And just for Scorbutt Challenges in general. He's a very, very good investment. He's up there with... He's in my top two, basically. Yeah, he's in my top two best investments. The next one is my number one. He's coming up here. It's Thiago Aspas. 86 rated in form. 16,000 coins. That's ridiculous. He's going for like 18k, but I sniped him for 16k. That's what I do. When a lightning round comes out, I just put the maximum by now to uh, just like maybe 1,000, maybe 2,000 coins less than what the card's selling for. I just try and snipe them there, and that's how I get my investments, really. So Aspas I got today during the 125k packs lightning rounds. So that's on a Saturday when I'm recording this video here. And um, yeah, he's got great stats. And he is now a very, very good player as an investment. Because not only is he, is he a really good player to use in game he's got a great card obviously really good stats 86 rated one of the best Spanish right wingers on the game if not the best because Isco has got not much pace compared to him also though he's an 86 rated in form who's going for like 15 16 thousand coins that's ridiculously cheap not that's never happened before in this game the cheapest 86 rated in form is like 50k normally so having someone like this is perfect he fits into those really expensive scorbutt challenges where you need like an 86, 87, even 88 rated team with a few informs. He's perfect for that and he's so, so cheap. So definitely is a great investment. I'm going to be picking up a few of him in the future uh, to have in my club just as a good investment. So him and Shawcross are my best inform investments to make right now. Also moving on to the goal cards, we've got Anthony Martial. These players here, you, there's, there's loads of them who are just really popular in foot champions who just really overuse players on this game. They're all good investments. So we've got Martial, we've got uh, Ribery, who's not one of those. He's more just because he's really cheap right now. Bailly is one of those, though, as one of those overused foot champions players. Kante, the same, and Sturridge, the same as well. And there are loads of other players. You've got uh, players like Renato Sanchez, who's 1.4k right now. You've got players like Hector Bellerin. You've got players like Walker. You've got Smalling. You've got um, Jack Butland. All those players like that, they're really cheap right now. They're going for, like... 6,000 coins for Bellerin, who's normally going for like 9k. They've just all dropped in price because they get packed so much. I said in my video before Team of the Year that these cards would be very cheap during Team of the Year, and they have dropped down a lot in price. So if you get players like Kante and Bai, if you need to build your overpowered foot champions team, for example, then they're really good investments for that. Like if I show you guys my current foot champions team, um, whereabouts is it? It's my first owner team. Uh, this one right here, I believe. Uh, is no, it's not this team. I'll, I'll just quickly show you guys my 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 foot champions team that I've built during Team of the Year, and this is it. See, so I've just got all my players right now during Team of the Year really cheaply, or or I packed them. Um, but right now, if you want to build like your foot champions team, like I've done here, then you just want to be getting your cards now. Like I've I've got people like uh, Martial, I've got Kante, Clichy, all these players here I've just got during Team of the Year because they're a lot cheaper right now. I see you want to get Butland, Renato Sanchez, these type of cards here. I got him just before Team of the Year for 4.4k, now he's 1.4k. Cards like that have dropped down so much in price, um, and uh, yeah, it's just a really, really good time to buy cards that you want to use for your teams in the future uh, right now. So definitely a good one to uh, to go and pick up right now. So that is my foot champions team with the first owner, Yari Littman, and in the team there. Um, but uh, yeah, they're all really good investments that you can make right now. Those type of cards there, there are loads and loads of them. Walker's one I'd steer away from just because he, for some reason, hasn't dropped down much in price. Um, but uh, other than him, I mean, all these sub players there. And then you've got players like Ribery. You've got players like Pjanic. You've got those higher-rated players who've just been packed a lot. 
You've got the lower rated walkouts too. You've got um, just those players like Lloris, like Czech, like Godin. They've all dropped down massively in price. Uh, Philip Lahm, he's gone from 25k before team of the year to like 15k now. He's an 88 rated player. Like you can get those really high rated players who are going to rise up for Scorpion Challenges in the future. Super, super cheap. Like Philip Lahm right now, if we, uh, if we check his price on the market, he's currently so cheap. He's like 14, 15,000 coins. And if you can get him for that price, he's going to rise up to like 20k in the future. He's a solid investment to make. Thomas Muller as well is a good one. Those really high rated players who are really cheap right now are great. You've got Oblak, you've got um, loads of players like that who are all just solid investments you can make and uh, make a lot of coins on in the future. Muller again, here we go. Muller's like 13, not even 13k. He's about 12, maybe even 11k right now. And they're really cheap. He was 25k before team of the year. These guys here, they've dropped so much in price. And if you get players like that, you really can and make an absolute ton of coins in the future. Just get the high rated cards. Like Leno, I think, is um, very, very cheap right now. Players like Oblak, he was 15k before team of the year. He's now like 8k. You can get cards like that on bid or on buy now. Again, you want to get them during the lightning rounds. Just those really high rated players. And um, it's pretty simple. So, just to summarize, you want to get the informs that are 83 and 84 rated, and also some of the ones like Pacini, who are really good for hybrids and will go up in price. The disco price informs. Ben Yedder is also a great one. I'm just waiting for him. I'm going to get him under 30k. If you can get a Ben Yedder, if you're on Xbox, under 30k, not, what, not sure what he's going for on PlayStation, but if you can get an inform Ben Yedder, he's a great investment because he's got such a good card. So, I'm going to try and pick him up during the lightning rounds for like 30k or less, maybe like 29, 28k. He's going for about 35 now. But uh, Aspas and Shawcross, great, great investments, especially Aspas there. All these informs there, though, really good ones to make. Uh, and then uh, you've got the cards that are low rated and get packed a lot, but were really expensive and really good. So Kante, Martial, Bai, Smalling, all those players there. And then you've got players who are really high rated, like you've got Ribery, you've got uh, Pepe, you've got Lam, you've got Muller. Those cards there, they're really cheap right now, and their price will rise up. So that's kind of the summary of the investments. Hopefully you guys can make some good coins on them. You want to buy these cards during the lightning rounds on Sunday evening when a lot of big packs are released. And then you're going to want to sell these cards maybe in a week, maybe in two weeks. You just want to keep an eye on their prices. The cards like Kante and Bae, I think they'll rise up a lot on Thursday and Friday night because people will be buying their teams for weekend league. Um, and then for your informed investments, you're going to wait till player of the month until school of the challenges, which are going to make their prices rise up. And the same with some of those cards like Lam, their prices will rise up a lot for school of the challenges. But yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like on it, subscribe if you are new around here, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.